how I put some wheels on my snowplow. Decided to do this when the snowplow feet that was originally on here actually wore through and they needed to be replaced. This piece right here, I want the skid shoe mold. Square tubing that I used here is two inch OD and one and a half ID. Uh, it's of course quarter inch wall thick then. Now the most important part here is to have this totally vertical. Otherwise, when you back up and go forward, when the wheel goes this way to this way, it's going to raise or lower the plow. If you have this totally vertical, the plow will stay perfectly at ground level when you back up and go forward. Here's a little better look at the wheels that I used for the plow here. They're the same ones as the mower deck has on it. Now, I bought all this stuff here from Kubota. The upper pin here, I cut it off and had to machine it down, and that way it would fit inside of this existing square tubing here that was off of the old skid feet. I have marks on here for every inch. They're easily seen when you're adjusting it. Uh, this here would be ground level, and that's up two inches, and you can even go down into the ground more with this setting here. This here is a three quarter inch nut, and three quarter inch threaded rod, with a set collar on it, and bronze bushing that goes inside the tower, and then the other bushing goes on the top, the crank, and the bolt for on the top. Inside the crank handle here, there's a steel sleeve with the rubber holes pushed over it. And it's just drilled and tapped into the arm. This here is a 3 8 bolt with a piece of 3 8 rubber fuel line over it. Now, one of the benefits of this is in the winter time, you want to change the height of the blade, you don't have to take your gloves off. You can just release the lever here and then you can raise or lower it with the crank here. With the wheels on here in this setup, there are several things, advantages that I didn't really realize at the time. Where they roll instead of the skid feet, they actually stay on the top of the gravel. I actually noticed a difference on how much easier the tractor rolled when you're plowing. I'm going this one down on the ground, cut. And then, you can bring up the other side. The so you use it like a six-way blade then for if you want to do some trick grading. And for plowing snow, where you don't have to worry about seeing over the top of the blade, then you put this on here. And the only problem is, is when I'm plowing snow, I go pretty fast with this. So actually, I made up this part here with the angle and the rubber flap. And it kind of helps keep the snow off me where I don't have a cab. And there you go, that's what it looks like with the plow extension on. And actually I cleaned the tractor up a little bit for the winter here and of course for the video shoot. And uh, the tractor is 10 years old now and the cylinders started leaking here a little while back so actually I had them apart and redid them too and life is good on the cylinders again. At some point in time, I'll probably put a video up of doing some snow like this. And uh, you probably noticed most of my yard work is done. If you've seen any of my older videos from the past, you probably noticed a lot of things changed around here. But, uh, yeah, the tractors sure come in handy.
I hope this helps you out on your project. Thank you so much for watching. Bye bye. It has the amazing air snorkel that goes up and down and all around and oh, into the cab. I almost had to get my feet wet. <laughs>